Hello, hope everyone's doing good today. I'm really excited because I am unboxing one of my Grail pens today. About four months ago, three or four months ago, during Christmas here in Singapore, I stepped into a fountain pen shop on Orchard Road. It was one of those high-end fountain pen shops, which I think all of us know, right, with uh, glossy shelves filled with super expensive pens with names which most of us who are new to the hobby won't even know the names of. I did, however, notice a particular shelf um, in that shop, which was filled with pilot pens. Uh, specifically, pilot pens that all looked the same, but had different nibs. And that was the shelf showing this particular pen that I'm going to unbox today, which is the Pilot Custom Heritage 912. The, the lady tried to sell me a pen that day, uh, this very pen. I mean, this, um, however, I did not buy it, right? I ended up picking it up um, probably like four months later. So this is the box that it, the, the pen comes in, right? It's a unassuming box, nothing much to it. Uh, the, rather, this is the outer covering, which is made out of cardboard. I'll just put it aside. And inside you get a um, plastic case. Doesn't look fancy at the very at the least. And inside you get the usual literature, right? So basically you get a user and care guide, use and care guide. You get what I assume is a warranty card of some sort. And you get a uh, card like this, and I'm going to show you something which might be interesting to um, geeks out there. Or I have an app on my phone, um, and basically if you aim it at the, the text, it actually translates that uh, this is saying in Japanese, fountain pen quality guarantee. So two guarantee cards. You also get uh, um, in cartridge, nothing unique there. You get the actual pen and the case itself, which which has a little, um, you know, cradle or made of or covered with velvet, which I'm going to put aside. And then you get the pen itself, which is, as you can see, it's totally sealed up in plastic. I'm going to open it right now. And this is the Pilot Custom Heritage 912. And you'll notice that, I mean, it always comes, all these Japanese pens all come with this little tag, which I'm going to take off. And you'll notice that I went with the FA nib. So out of the 15 nibs that this particular series of pens comes with, I was most interested in, in the FA nib. And why? Because it's the soft nib, right? It's the flex, so-called, um, not full flex nib, but it's it's the soft one, right? It's the one for call calligraphy. It's the one that you, when you use it, it feels like you're writing with brush strokes and all that usual uh, cliched stuff. So um, there are other nibs, obviously, and I, I will put uh, an image uh, you know, right now, showing all the various nib types on the screen. But just t taking a look at the pen itself, it, it's not very impressive looking, right? It has just, it's a squared off pen, as you can tell, right? It's not one of those pens that has a torpedo shape or, a, you know, cigar shape. Some people like that. It has a different uh, clip compared to the usual pi Pilot custom pens or the usual like the custom 74 which I uh, used the other day had uh, I, I didn't really like that clip with a little ball at the end. This one has what they call the SWAT style clip and just looking at the, the text down here it says custom heritage 912 uh, Pilot Japan. FA was a sticker and I 
you know, I'm going to keep that on. And nothing into inside the cap. So the cap is not exceptionally heavy. So um, the section is pretty small, right? It's not the biggest section out there. But I'm going to try out writing and see whether or not how it fits my hand. And just opening up the rest of the pen, which is this main body, it comes with Con 70, right? I'm probably going to be rinsing out this pen because of the reputation of this nib, right? A lot of people who buy this nib with high hopes find out that uh, the feed doesn't really uh, keep up with writing and then it railroads, it doesn't start and so on. So what I'm going to be do, what I'm going to be doing to be kind of prudent, I'm going to be rinsing out this pen and then I'm going to be trying out uh, to write after that, right? Um, why do I rinse it out? To kind of get rid of any oils or um, any uh, contaminants that would affect the writing experience. So I'll come back uh, in another video whereby I will give you some writing samples and give you my thoughts. Hopefully I, I get a good one. So I'll come back uh, soon. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and I hope you have a good one today. Bye.